traveling the world, learning about everything, seeing what it's like, getting out of that little area that you're from, that you, you don't know nothing. And the education system needs changing. And it needs to be more where they're more cultured, that they can see more because we're in a different generation, different world now. It's, we're not living in this crazy world no more. The world's changing, big time. I bought more vapes, I don't know what the fuck I've done with them. Oh, my head's just all over the place. I was just speaking to my son anyway, bless him. Oh, I love the trousers and the headscarf. Thank you, Tana. I want to take my son to Africa, man. I always said this to him from ages ago. I want to take you to Africa, man. Roots. <clears throat> nah, it's probably the most beautiful place in the world. Kenya. <clears throat> I said we'll go and help all the kids in it. <laughs> go save the kids, man. I'd love to travel the world. I said this in a mental hospital. They thought I was fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I said I'm gonna sell the payday for a billion. I've been saying this for so long and I'm going to do it. And I hope that I'm that person that can travel the world and paint with all the kids in poverty and, and raise money and help these kids all over the world. But first, we've got to start with the UK, darling. Do you understand? But yeah, that's kind of my goal. Because there's no point having a big platform that I sit on. And, you know, I, I'm Chelsea Lee Art, darling. I want to go worldwide. You know someone with a crush on me? <laughs> Is it Eminem? <laughs> Oh, darling, I can't cope. <laughs> I'd marry Eminem. <laughs> he's probably the only one that I want to marry. Because <laughs> he's a G like me. He reminds me of like, the boy version of me. Isn't it? It's hilarious. Go and ask Eminem what he thinks about what's going on. I don't know him. Oh, darling. Eminem, help her sister. I need help. <laughs> help come and rescue her sister, darling. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> come and get me. Help. Oh, I'm fucking red hot. <sighs> the state of my hair man jesus christ i had uh, i washed my hair in it and then obviously i've just tied it up like this and left it to dry but it's like fucking hell the blonde underneath it i think i need to dye it again oh darling it's 
sorry to let you down, but I think they are much better. Will. What then, M&M? &M? <laughs> um, who would that be then? <laughs> Tell me, Will, darling. <laughs> Who's that? No. Oh, it's Will, he likes you. I've been told to keep it a secret. Well, bloody hell, Will, sweetheart. What, do you know this person, Will? Or you've just been told, this is doing my head in now. <laughs> like, why would you say such a thing? Great to change the subject, though, Will. Um, where's the fucking silk? <laughs> One second. One minute. The silk. I need the silk. I'm fucking red hot. I know I can put this on. Hang on. Where's the top? Oh, darling. It's so fucking hot in here, man. Which is in London, darling. Fucking red hot. <clears throat> Oh my lord. Fucking bedroom's getting messy again as well. Oh, that's better. I hope it's someone fucking that's loaded, sweetheart. Rich and famous, darling. <laughs> That'll do the job. <laughs> they look like a crib. What's a crib? So hot, darling. I'm going to have to put on the air con. Mm. Oh. Hey, <sighs> I am a man of my word, and I cannot say, but she is really nice. She. <laughs> I'm so confused. So leggy. <laughs> oh no, we only do sausages around here. So leggy. <laughs> no fish pie. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no fish pie, Will, darling. Tell her, piss off, darling. <laughs> oh, God, could you imagine? I could never be with a woman, darling. Two women on their reds, darling. Oh, absolutely not, darling. I'm bad enough, just me on my own, sweetheart. We'll let her know with a sad face. Unless it's Lana Del Rey, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> oh, darling.
Is she famous, Will? This, I don't understand this top. This one strap keeps going like that. So one of my shoulders is definitely higher than the other. She's been on TV. You're not on about Katie Price, are you, darling? <laughs> you know what, bloody Katie Price? Does she love me? <laughs> She's been on TV. Hell no. <laughs> Oh, well, Will, darling. Ugh. Just tell me, Will, darling. There's no point coming on and saying that, you know. <sighs> Just tell her, sister. Bait her out is fine, don't worry. <laughs> Are you friends with this person? Hello, Huey, darling. Mr. Jones, darling. Get her. Can you get in the box, Huey? Can we talk? Have you got 800? Everyone follow Huey, please. Hugh William Jones. If he's on 800, he'll be able to go live. You don't have to show your face to show the painting. And if you look on, the, and if you go on, you'll see, and you just flip the camera, you just press the three buttons where it says more and flip your lashes look nice thank you i had pseudocreme all on them i had to get it all off i was like bloody hell <clears throat> i'm fucking red up i think it's the lights Did you look a little more skin? Yeah, he shedded his skin, but I don't want to pick it up. Is this a sub-only live or a sub-only comment? It's a sub-only live. It's called a malt. Oh. Yeah, I spoke to... Um, I spoke to Dave's world anyway. Oh, thank you, Marsha Law, darling. Oh, look, Huey, I'm in the polka dots. And this has actually got stripes as well, stripes, dots. <laughs> you should have put me in the book, Kiwi, darling. But I do want to look like that image, that one image you put in the book where she's got the white lollipop and the lips and she's black and white in stripes, polka dots, it's amazing. Charlotte, thank you, Charlotte, darling. Thank you, sweetheart. It's bloody 4 a.m. in the morning, guys. I've been sleeping all day, though, more or less. I've just felt so tired. I think I'm due on my period. That's why I'm a bit emotional as well. Tyler, thank you, Tyler. Oh, thank you, everyone. Look, Charlotte, I've followed you. 
Taylor, thank you, Taylor. I've followed you as well. Joanne, thank you, Anita. Brittany Chapman, Dazzling Diamond. Will, the one and only by home. Thank you, Jessica and Becky. Big up all my gifters. And thank you all for the heart me's. Lisa, thank you, darling. Right, let's have a look on here. I don't wanna. I'll put my thing on just in case. Put my request on. There might be some Americans on. Brittany, thank you, Brittany, darling. Amelia as well, thank you, Brittany. Gorgeous girl. Comey, thank you so much, darling. Is it Comey? Thank you for the love, sweethearts. I'll give you all a follow back. Oh, I want to try and click on you. There we go, Comey, darling. Thank you so much, Comey, darling. You're all amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, hello, Bev, darling. Yeah, I've got you, Bev, sweetheart. Oh, let's see if anyone requests me. Everyone's scared to death to request me. I get all these requests from like one peep, people that got like one follower summer. All the rest of the creators, they're scared to death. I don't know what it is. I try and request. They don't want to go live with me and it's like, okay. Lisa Johnson, thank you, darling. No, I'm not scary. Mind you, I am when I'm on one. <laughs> uh, alpha smelly socks, thank you, darling. <laughs> I can't cope, darling. You know I do love Alpha, though. So. Tyler, thank you, darling. People are requesting me though. I'm like, oh, darling, I don't know. We'll have all the smelly socks. Uh, Amelia, thank you, darling. We love you, Chelsea. I think you're so misunderstood, Chelsea. I've watched you for years. And I just adore you. Thank you so much, Bev, darling. Yeah, I am so misunderstood. I'm fucking misunderstood in myself. Man, no. it took me so long to find myself. You know, who the fuck are you, Chelsea? What do you stand for? Thank you, Elf. Like, you know, it, it took me a long time. But all I know is I am a good person and I've got a good heart. And they're the best qualities to have. Being a good person and having a good heart, you know. But I think because I've been big on TikTok and I've been very, you know, you know, loads of people know who I am, you know, they just want to try and take me down, that's all it is. Because you know, jealousy and because I am successful. So I have that to deal with. So they'll say anything about me to make me out to be this horrible bad person that I'm just not. And that upsets me, it does, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's not nice and you're not right in what you're saying. Trish, thank you, Trish, darling. But people will see in time, innit? There's probably just nothing I can do at the minute, anyway. Just let everyone hate on me, it's fine. Hello from Iran. Hello, Yasser, darling. Big love. So, yeah, that's how it is. There's nothing you can do.
the real ones know the truth. Hello, Molly, darling. They do. I've got so many countries that uh, follow me as well. I was so shocked. I've even got Nigeria, you know, I couldn't believe it. I've got Nigeria and South Africa. I was like, go on, Chelsea. I've got Spain. I've got fucking, like, um, Scotland, Ireland. America is my second biggest audience. I've got Sweden. I've got, like, all these different countries, man. It's crazy. Me and Taylor are from Australia. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of fans in Australia. Yeah, international. And then it says 12 point some percent other. So that must be others as well. But yeah, pick up the Spanish roots. Italy roots. Canada, I've got Canada roots. <laughs> like, I need Japan. I need, I need China. I need Dubai, <laughs> like, I need everywhere, darling. India, the whole world loves you. <laughs> but I think once my business is out there and my art, because my art speaks, my art is like, oh, who's done that? You know, and my art is very worldwide, like, you know, there's so much in my art, so they see and then they'll be like, wow, oh yeah, that's Chelsea, you know. Chelsea Leon. Everyone loves you, Roots. Yeah, so I have to, like, really fix up as well. Because, you know, there's times I do get really angry and I start being shouting and being horrible as well, and I don't want to be like that. But that's because I don't mean to, it's because of all the stresses and this and that. And, you know, it gets on top of you as well, you just, you know. I mean, I've always had an issue with my mouth. I think my mouth has been the worst thing about me, where, you know, sometimes I wish I could just shut the fuck up. Nelly, thank you, Nelly, darling. I was singing like Nelly the Elephant. <laughs> Nelly, thank you, sweetheart. Ah, oh, thank you, Yasser, darling. I just love everyone, do you know what I mean? Thank you, Nelly, darling. <laughs> and I see my art, I, you know, there's so much I want to put into my art as well, you know? Um, like, even now with what's going on, I want to do a painting about it, see what comes out. That's how I'm feeling and put that on the canvas. Thank you, Nelly, darling. You know, maybe I might have to think about this one where I actually have to think before I do it, rather than just going, Duh. you know what I mean? That's just one style that I've got. And then I have another style where I put colors and I get a spatula. There was an artist in Napoli called Antonio Tamboroni who inspired me to paint with a spatula. And when I did, the fucking woman popped out and imagine me and I've got the painting I can show you I was like fuck how does this happen I've got can I show you and it was just I was shitting myself because <laughs> I thought how the fuck does the woman pop out I Oh, fucking hell, look what's popped out. Uh, Tyrone, Modine did this. <laughs> Modine did this to Tyrone, did it? <laughs> I'm gonna put Tyrone up here and that'll go. There we go, Tyrone. <laughs> oh, he's fell over. I think Tyrone's misunderstood me, which is upsetting because I do like Tyrone. A lot. I think he's great, but don't tell him. Does that look like I used a spatula? I did not put her there. This painting is 
it's just nuts. Yeah, but it's, I was using a spatula and then this happened. But it looks like a fucking woman. Yeah, so it's just a bit mad, this thing. Mm. But this is oil. But I wouldn't say it's even finished, but you know, I have to stop somehow. Tyrone, uh, it'd come out like fucking Picasso or something, but I'd probably be able to do a really good job. How many suitcases? I've got loads. I've got more. Look, this is me in the window. This is me in the window. This is a different style. But yeah, we'll have all the suitcases. <laughs> I've got, look, suitcase here, these here, and then I've got more suitcases. I've got another one in the cupboard. Yeah, I've got bare suitcases in there. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. Look, let's cheer up now, darling. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. This music's fabulous, isn't it? I love, like, the native music as well. American native music. Taylor, thank you, darling. Thank you, Beth, darling. So can I just ask you guys a question? So in regards to tomorrow, is there a protest happening tomorrow anywhere? I've moved 18 times and I've never seen so many suitcases, but I was gonna order more. I don't even know what the fuck is in the suitcase that I've put in there anyway. I think it must be some other stuff. Oh, CLA, read my comments. Isabella, thank you for subscribing, darling. 
Can you write it again? Because I can't find it. Read my comment. Do it now. Can you read it? Can you write it again? I'm looking. Oh. And have I got you, Banksy? Toria, thank you, Toria, gorgeous. Thank you, darling. Big love, Toria, darling. Thank you, Toria, gorgeous. Come on, Banksy. <laughs> what are you saying? Her real name is Heather. Oh, Heather. Oh, Banksy, your name's Heather. Will. I'm confused. Her real name is Heather. I don't know who Heather is, darling. Heather with a feather. <laughs> Mel, thank you. No, my name's Cameron. Hello, Cameron, darling. Yeah, you, you told me your mum hacks your account, innit? <laughs> Ah, and change the name in it because you can't change it now again for a month in it. Heather, darling, you know the only Heather that's popping in my fucking head is Heather from EastEnders, who wear all the pies. Mel and Dancing Queen. <laughs> that's not there. As soon as Heather, that was it. I had a mad dream as well. Listen to this. I must have been listening. I was listening to EQ's live because she had the riot thing going on in it. So I was listening, but I must have passed out in it. And she must have still been alive. But you know, when you're dreaming, and I had some mad fucking dream, and I was with her, and we was in fucking God knows, but we'd fallen out in it. But it's like I ended up with her, and it was like, but then I was like, oh, you, you know, like, you know, <laughs> like it was just mad. And then I fucking, I just remember, like, I walked around the corner and, like, I was in, like, the ghetto. I was like, what the fuck? And she disappeared and I was like, and then I was trying to find, and then I just woke up, you know, I was like, what the fuck is going on, mate? I must have been out of it. No, what was going on? It must have been all the riot noises and the sounds and that, because I was, but I was just listening, in it to what was fucking going on rather than searching around and that, because I know she goes from one to another, and it's just finds all the best ones. Pops, thank you, darling. It was fucking nuts. I have some mad dreams, you know. And you know when you're trying to, well, yeah, I just remember I was trying to, I was trying to find someone or do, and you know when you wake up and then you're like, I'm gonna go back to sleep and try and find it or something. And then I thought, what the fuck? I was dreaming, man, you fucking lunatic. And then I was just thinking, what the fuck is going on? So yeah, it's mad. But oh, it's crazy. Oh. Protest in Lancashire Town Hall Sunday. Where's Lancashire Town Hall? I was born in Lancashire, but where the fuck's the town hall, darling? We're so different, you paint and I draw human portraits. Draw me, Banksy, darling. Weymouth, where the fuck's that, darling? Charlie, thank you, darling. I don't know where these places are. I ordered cake and custard, but I've got, I'm gonna have it tomorrow. Dorset. Uh, but I doubt they're going to be acting anything like what they do up north, so you know, it'll probably be a peaceful one. I can't see people acting like that down there. They're a bit too posh. Down south is posh. 
There's something in Brighton as well. Something happened in Brighton. I don't think the people in Brighton are going to stand for that, to be honest. There's a lot of there's a lot of places that they won't have it. They won't stand for it. They'll be protesting against. But all this is just ridiculous. Just stop it now. Enough's enough. Stop fucking destroying up the UK, man. I've got to pay fucking taxes, you bitches. It's ridiculous. Every Scot has a story. Hello, Scotland. I'm fucking going fucking Scotland, mate. <laughs> I've started. I, the Scottish are not involved in this, though, because it's Scotland. There you go, sweetheart. Big up Scotland. Thank you, Abby, darling. Rotherham, oh my God, I've lived over there as well. I've lived in Tinsley as well. Rotherham, Tinsley, Sheffield, Barnsley. Normanton, Leeds, Halifax. I know all these ends though. We love you, Chelsea. Yeah, Lancashire. Scotland will protest too, I'm sure. But what's it got to do with Scotland, darling? Scotland, Scotland, it's not England, is it? I know you from Pittsmoor. Oh, hello, Ocean Eyes. You do? Well, I've lived all over the end of the Star League. <laughs> I used to be a little ragamuffin in Pittsmoor. <laughs> oh, darling. Scotland's part of the UK too. Oh, is it? I thought Scotland was its own. Aren't they independent? I thought that was that was they was fighting to be independent. I don't fucking blame them, darling. Aren't Scotland independent though? Spittle Hill. Do you remember fucking Marcia's with her salty Caribbean food? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Scotland are independent. No, we voted to stay. Oh, you did? So, okay. Callum, thank you, darling. They voted to stay. Oh, okay. Big up, Callum. Thank you so much, darling. I never knew that, I thought it was the opposite. Been on TikTok for too long, I've missed out on what's going on in the world, to be honest. I've been in my own fucking world, TikTok world. Sometimes it's good to see what's going on in the world, but then it's not good. Cause if I'm intoxicated, fuck knows what happens. But that's not gonna happen no more. I'm so proud of myself. I said to my son, I've not touched weed for four weeks or alcohol. He's like, I'm so proud of you, mom. I'm like, yes. Is that about time? <laughs> like, I was like, absolutely, darling. What country do you want to visit? The USA and Dubai. But I might go to America first.
because um, you know you gotta be a bit careful sometimes that America's ruthless in it but yeah so I'll go to America and then I'll go to Dubai I don't need to be careful in Dubai, sweetheart. I'll be fine in Dubai, darling. Everyone goes to Dubai. America isn't cheap. Yeah, I know, but neither am I. So, I mean, the both of us together, darling. <laughs> we'll get on, in it. <laughs> There's nothing cheap about me, darling. But I'm going to America to work, to make money. Why you come to America to get way more followers and interact with all my followers? A bitch is famous over here, Root started. <laughs> I'm lucky to do a chew with Eminem, darling. <laughs> Trippy Reds, everyone's over here, man. CLA lives in America, would be class. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got to get to the USA, ASAP. But I'm going to make money, darling. I ain't going there for a fucking holiday. I'm looking to make some fucking money out there. I'd love to go to Art Basel. That's what I want. I want to meet Alec Monopoly as well. Work with Taylor Swift. Well, yeah, if she wants to. I prefer Lana Del Rey, though, to be honest with you. The Mormons love you, Mormons. Oh, darling. Yeah, I wanted, I'd love to do a track with Lana and Eminem. And apparently they're like really good friends, you know? Yeah. I listen, I sang Meat Love tonight. Uh, well, today I sang Meat Love. God, I feel so ill. I don't know what it is. I think it's them cigarettes, man. Fuck me. I can't smoke no more, man. These fucking things. Oh, I feel sick from it. It's not good. Lana wishes she had you booked. Uh, Solar... Solar Eris. Hello, darling. I'm so bad at saying names. I'm illiterate like Eminem, just to let you all know. Hello, Avril, darling. I've just followed you as well. Thank you, gorgeous. Oh, my Lord. I don't know why I'm so hot. This fucking top, darling. Thank you, Avril, darling. What day is it tomorrow, Sunday? I'm sure he'd booyah call you. Oh, Eminem, absolutely. If you see me in real life, of course. But would I booyah call him? Not straight away. I wouldn't, just because he's Eminem, but so what, darling? You know, when you're getting personal like that, darling, it's got to be love, so you know. Absolutely. You know, if I fell in love with Eminem, then absolutely. But I wouldn't just give him a one night stand. Sorry, Eminem. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Mo Bean. Yeah, I was a bit rude to Mo Bean, weren't I? But I'm just, I'm not in the mood at the minute. Oh, take you out for dinner first. Hello, Charlie, darling. Abby, I've just followed you. Thank you, gorgeous. Anyone would be lucky to have you. It's because I was going to... He wanted me to stream with Neon and then it got cancelled. And uh, then I thought we were streaming the next day. And then I just got vexed at him and just started saying, I'm going to block you, bitch, whatever. I just was so rude. And then I had to say I was sorry, it didn't mean it. But then when I seen that little guy, what's he called? Um, Biggs. I seen Biggs with him 
with Neon. And I just thought, you know what, whatever, darling. I just wanted to see Neon so I could say, yo, tell Trippy I'm painting him. Boom, 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 because he knows Trippy Red. So once again, he's not done nothing. Um, so he pissed me off, darling, because I just thought, you know what, Roots, whatever, I'll do everything on my own. I don't need you for nothing no more. It's all bullshit. Just piss off, darling. I got jealous, innit? Sophia, thank you. Could I even see Neon walk past what? Well, There's all the security in there. But anyway, it is what it is. Not even what it was. It's probably a good explanation, like the always is, but I'm not bothered. I don't care no more, I don't need no one. I got me, myself, and I, that's all I've got in the end. That's what I found out. Kaz, thank you, darling. Jessica, thank you, sweetheart. So yeah, I'll get my own clown. Was 15 protest yesterday, oh my lord. And to be honest, in a time of need, would he be there for me? No, he wouldn't. He doesn't even message me on nothing, so he can piss off, darling. Claire, thank you. Yeah, I'll get M and M now. Watch. But I've all the goats, darling. And then I don't know if Modi tells me, "Oh, I married Trippy Red's ex-girlfriend." Are you trying to get me jealous, darling? Like I fancy Trippy Red or something. <laughs> like I do not fancy Trippy Red. Trippy Red has got style. His music's dope. You know, and fucking hell, sweetheart. That's it. That's why I painted him. You know, because he's got style, man. Roots. I love his music. So, you know, no one cares. DZZ, thank you for the follow, darling. Warum, thank you for them. I can't say your name properly. Thank you, Claire, for subscribing. Oh, we'll have all the subscribers, absolutely. Life, oh life, oh life. Jenna, welcome, welcome. These usernames, yeah. Crazy. How many subscribers have I got now? 1,268. Grace, hello Grace, crystal lover. India, Kathy, Karina, just making sure I've got everyone, doll face. Mm, Lulu, thank you, darling. Is my request off again? No, they're on. Nelly, darling, thank you, Nelly. Oh, you're so kind, Nelly. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly, darling. Woo! Thank you, Claire, darling. Oh, thank you, Nelly and Claire, darling. That was so nice. 
Well, I've all the gifts, darling. Thank you so much. Oh, you're all lovely. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Nelly, darling. I keep like, like, looking at my heart. I should do another one, shouldn't I? I've got a new canvas. Thank you, Nelly. Everyone fucks off when I do my art, though. Everyone's like... I had to flip it up and I had to show people what I stand for instead of them thinking, you know. So, yeah, I'm an artist, Chelsea the Art, and now I'm going to show you what time of day it is. My art speaks for itself. That's it. Boom. Like, I could not go live no more, live stream, and just post my art and all. Da, 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 da. But as soon as I posted my art, boom, straight away, you know. I was getting all the love. Thank you, Nelly. Bloody hell, Nelly, darling. Thank you so much, gorgeous. Alpha smelly socks, thank you. <laughs> She's gonna kill me reading that out. <laughs> that Chelsea. <clears throat> I mean, has she been live, Alpha Bar? I mean, she'll probably be going crazy with what's going on. She'll be like, it's disgusting, you know. She'll be on one. Alex, thank you. Dancing queen, big love, darling. Go and tell her I want to go live with her. She's fucking, I don't see her no more. I think she's fucked me off. Nelly, thank you, darling. Oh, she's not live now, okay. Big up Nelly, darling. Nelly, you're so kind. Lani, hello, Lani. Big up, Lani. I've just followed you back, Lani. Sorry, because I did follow, I unfollowed everyone, innit? So I'm just getting everyone back now, the right people. Because you know you have loads of fucking trolls and all this and that, so. Sky, thank you for all joining my team, guys. If you're able to join my team, oh, Nelly is going in, darling. Thank you, Nelly. Oh, you're so kind to me. Thank you, Alpha. <laughs> Smelly sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha, smelly socks, thank you. Oh, darling. What do I do? I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Fucking it. These bastard shoes, darling. Honestly, I keep tripping up on them. Lani, thank you so much for subscribing. Just give me one second, guys. One second. Sorry, I couldn't key. I needed to piss a little bit. I'll show you what I got. But I already had one in it from the Peckham, uh, the Cake and Custard Factory. Look, oh yes. Boom. But I'm gonna have this one tomorrow because I had the pink one today. Grace, thank you, Grace, darling. Yes, Alpha Smelly Socks. Alpha Smelly Socks. Smelly socks, thank you guys. Oh, darling. Oh. What do we have? Look, I'm always fucking eating, darling. These taste like the five piece space raiders we used to get as a kid, darling. Now these fuckers are one pound fifty. Exactly the same taste. Grace, let me follow you, sweetheart. 
Oh, I've already got you. I'm wishing on a stone. <laughs> Fucking space raiders and the uh, spicy and the pickled onion one is. You remember, innit? So follow where you are. We're getting there. I always seem to have so much washing. I bet the bread's gonna go off. I mean, I should put this in the fridge because otherwise it's going to cook it there. I could have cheese on toast, but I really don't want it. I'm feeling like I'm putting weight back on. And because I've had that, I had spaghetti bolognese. I had the whole thing, so everything that I cooked, I had two plates. But it was only half a pack of meat. But it doesn't matter, I had two fucking plates of spaghetti bolognese. And then I had the cake and custard, so I'm definitely due on, because I'm... I think that's why I was getting right yesterday, or when I was, today I was like, right, I'm gonna go. That's not in the mood. And then I ended up sleeping. So, and I've been sleeping anyway, so I just thought, fucking hell, Chelsea, you needed the sleep, and now I'm fucking wide awake, man. Do I have this, my little tea? How do I make it again? I fucking forgot. Skimmed milk and water. Do I just add water to it? I'm sure I made this with milk. Do I make this with milk or water? But it's already got skimmed milk in it. Is it water I use? Milk. Why is he not saying fucking directions? Oh, I can't even fucking read them. God, I can't even read this. Jesus Christ, I need a magnifying glass. It doesn't say. Water. All right, let's have some. I forgot, man, fucking, it's probably about 20 years ago since I was good. But I know it's good for you, because it's got malt in it. Right, I'm gonna try it. My fucking baby father used to love it. Oh, yummy. I think you put about three spoons. This shit's expensive. Oh, we're getting violations. Must be the tits. Sorry about that. <laughs> A violation for what? It's my little tea. It's, look. All the footballers have it. Keeps you strong. Katie Price is in the place. Is she? She used to be my moderator. Hello, Katie, darling. No. I've never heard of that. Thank you, darling. Oh, I think he met you. Oh, I need sugar in this. Why is it so fucking expensive, darling? Because it's got malt in it. Or because, probably because it's good for you. So anything that's good for you, they want to fucking charge you twice the price. I think I need a bit of milk in it. I should have made it with milk. Yeah, I think that's how they make it with milk, not water. I 
I need more fucking chocolate in this. I don't know why it's called tea. Yeah, yeah, I need to do it with milk. I'll make it with milk next time. But I'm not wasting it. I'll put a bit of milk in there, so. Oh, I can eat some peanuts. I need to put them in a fucking smoothie or something. I love a peanut butter smoothie or peanut smoothie mm. with cacao, cacao chocolate. I used to sniff cacao. I met Mick Jagger's stylist. <laughs> Try this cacao though. Yeah, it gets you high, man. I used to sniff it, thinking it was Charlie. She's like, yeah, look at all these, you know, sniffing up all the cold and Charlie and that. She goes, and I just do this cacao powder. Straight out of Whole Foods, darling. <laughs> I remember when I went to Bermondsey that I was telling them, I was like, try some of this cacao chocolate powder. <laughs> they said, I'm never gonna go there. But it's good for you, isn't it? I mean, they do fucking caca uh, cacao in it, chocolate, you know what I'm on about. Oh, this is nice, man. Yummy. Keeps you strong, doesn't it? Once I start getting to the gym, roots. So, um, oh. Is it Monday I'm going? Oh yes, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. And she's gonna look at my lip because she's gonna get rid of my scar and she's gonna give me the line. She's gonna put the line back. Cause I lost it in it. Cause of my dog bite. So I'm gonna have like my lips, but not done then. I'm gonna have to book in for that, but she's gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna get, um, I don't know about the line. I was gonna get my eyebrows for now. But yeah, she's able to do my nipples as well. She can do everything. Like to make them even better. She can get rid of scars, this and that. So yeah, she's like proper makeup artist. But the lips look amazing. I've seen she's got her own book. She's a proper, she's like a famous makeup artist. And she's Polish, isn't it? She's fucking amazing. And the book that she's got, she's got a picture of someone that's got like this, like a, like a, on the lip. Cause I've got a whole look. It went all the way through my lip. And I've got to get all this sorted. But yeah, and she can make it disappear and make my lips like a bit more of a colour. So when I just put the lip gloss on or whatever, Vaseline, whatever, it's just gonna, so I'm gonna look gorgeous. All the celebrities have it done. And she works with a lot of famous people. Like all these people in my area, all these rich Chelsea women. Is it a tattoo? I don't think so. It might be, but I don't know. I 
It's like they'll have your lips like this, and then she'll like, they'll look stained. So she puts some on or whatever. But yeah, it looks really good anyway. God, I'm so hot. I actually feel like I'm gonna pass out. But yeah, it looks interesting. I've never seen it before, to be honest. And the eyebrows as well, lip blush, I think it's called, yeah. Yeah, lip blush, I think that's what it's called. Absolutely. But she's gonna do my eyebrows, which will be good because I can get her to make my eyebrow go more here because I've got a scar here, look, you can see. That's why my eyebrow goes that way. But yeah, if she can try and bring them in a bit more. Yeah. I might get her to do the line under my eyes as well. Or here, this bit. Cause it might make my eyes look better with, you know. Cause I don't wear makeup in it. So anything like that to me will be beneficial, but I wouldn't have black or anything. I'll just have like brown nothing too dark like maybe like brown you know like even my eyebrows i'll still keep them like this color i wouldn't go any darker and but i'll just get her to maybe make them a bit better so when i go and get them done but not like that because they make them too big but yeah i've seen some pictures as well so she'll be able to look and see and she'll draw it on anyway first and then I'll see in it and then if I'm happy, I'll say, yeah, do it. If you're gonna make me look better, then let's go look. Cause I had, you know what I did? I had all vitamin injections. So I had all my eyes injected all here. That's what this is. And here. And even here. So I had, and on my neck. You can't really see no more. Maybe just little bits. But yeah, so. Phew, for all my skin. But I think it takes a while to work because. When I'm looking here, it I just look the fucking same, to be honest. But just like more battered, if anything, <laughs> here because of the injection. But yeah, I don't know how long it takes. Maybe it'll be like a week or something, and then you'll see how different it'll look. My skin will be more because of the vitamins. But yeah, I'm gonna get injections for vitamins. I wanna get my my lungs. There's like an oxygen machine that like, it's like an MOT for your body, isn't it? So you know how you MOT your car and whatever, but it's for like your body. So I need to get like all this, you get this oxygen and it clears out all your lungs, you know, cause of all the weeds and all that smoking and stuff. But I just have to not smoke cigarettes cause I need to get my teeth done. And I'm getting my teeth done in the UK, isn't it? I'm not getting them done in Turkey. And my teeth to do one, one veneer, not them the the thin veneer things, the Illuminati for veneers or whatever they're called. They're like one thousand seven hundred for one. So fucking hell, sweetheart. Oh, bitch needs to be a millionaire before I even have that done. So that's why I'm not bothered at the minute. All them things will come in time, but I'm not gonna go to Turkey and get my fucking teeth filed down, no chance. No way, I would never do that. So I'd rather fucking go somewhere that's, you know. Because if anything was to go wrong, I'd just go back to fucking Mayfair, sweetheart. You know, oi oi. And they, they wouldn't do what my dentist does, he's proper professional. He's older as well, he's old school. And he said, because I've smoked for so long on this and that, you've got to get your gums 100%. So no bonding because I grind my teeth. That's not good. 
I look my bike, look. So my teeth are not like that, look. They're not like this, they're like that. And I grind, like, and he says the bonding will just break off. But they've, um, they sorted out this tooth, which was good, but I've got to have a new tooth at the back. Huh? I've got to get this changed and a new one here. And then, yeah, he's got to do it. But he says what I need to do, I need to get this treatment. It's about a grand and a half. And like all here, they go right up, right up where the tooth is, like here, they go right to the top and clean all up and down the bottom. So like, look, so where the tooth goes down, they clean right down to the bottom because all the bacteria, so it's, it's like a disinfectant for the whole mouth. Yeah, I know, it's gonna kill. She was gonna do it and I had to cancel. I was like, because I just thought, oh my God. So I've just been holding off for it. But at the same time, I can't really afford it at the minute like that, to be honest. I need to be making more money. I put a lot of money into my business and that, so I need to be making money back first. But yeah, I need to not smoke and I've bought another packet, haven't I? Like a fucking idiot. Claire, thank you, darling. But it is what it is because I'm not smoking weed, so there's probably no difference between me having an odd joint and an odd cigarette. I mean, I've only had two today, so as long as I'm not smoking, like, you know. But it's only when I feel like I just need a fucking cigarette, I just, I don't know, it's like I just need some, like, because I'm just constantly doing vapes in it now, and I'm just like, this is getting too much as well. And it's more when I'm, like, sat on my ass or in here. When I'm out and that, uh, I don't really bother. Uh, but if I went to the gym, started the gym, I probably wouldn't even smoke this no more. Probably just have an odd cigarette. So, absolutely. Yeah, it is because it's like a habit as well. And then you come off the cigarettes or whatever. Um, you know, you just need the vape. I mean, I would have gone crazy in a mental hospital without my vape. And it saved my life. <laughs> Because it's like you're just looking at four fucking walls, don't it? So, you know, I don't know. It is hard. I read somewhere and I did post it. They were saying that they're selling vapes now that have got spice in them and the kids are even having them and they're being knocked out. I'm like, are you actually all right? Are these people actually all right? How are they fucking getting spice in vapes? That's dangerous as fuck, sweetheart. It's, it's a shame that in this world that we live in that they don't fucking have something that's good for you to fucking inhale. Do you know what I mean? Why don't they make things that are good for your lungs to inhale? Yeah, I've read that. Yeah, it's crazy. And these are plastic. And these are so fucking heavy as well. You know what I mean? They're so heavy. Vitamin inhalers. Oh, I could do with some of them, darling. I'll start having them online. <laughs> I mean, and shisha's all right, but after a while it gives me a headache. It's because uh, it's got nicotine in it. Apparently shisha's not good for you. It's like smoking 40 cigarettes, so I need to not do that no more. But as a one-off, like as a little treat or something, but it's, even that is fucking 60 quid. Can't believe how much they charge me in that place. 96 pounds for a mocktail shisha and a fucking karak tea. A vitamin inhaler? I'm gonna Google that. Right, let me switch this on and off, see if it works. <sighs> but it's been nice to come on. A new business idea.
What, what's he called again? Vitamin inhaler. I just want to do my art, to be honest. But then I don't know, I don't want to really do it online. <sighs> Maybe I'm going to go, guys. I'm just so bored. I'll go and watch more shit, what's been happening. A new business idea, yes. Do you make... Do you what makes you happy? Oh, wow, I've made 20k diamonds. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. I mean, it is my job at the minute, you know, until I launch everything. I'm not even supposed to say nothing to you. I'm supposed to keep everything private. Well, fucking, I can't keep my mouth shut, can I? <laughs> Don't ever tell me your secrets. Turn your passion into business. That's what I'm doing. So I, all these are gonna be beneficial. That's the plan. But what will really make me happy is making a lot of money for charity. That will really give me the power because that will make me so happy because it's like I'm doing something that's, you know, I'm helping the kids I'm doing, you know. So when all that's starting to happen, I'll be probably like so happy and a different person. I'll be so happy. That's what will make me happy. Oh my God, my earring. Jesus Christ, sweetheart. This fucking top, darling. Honest to God. <sighs> like, I'm going to have to go and get stressed out, guys. <laughs> like, sometimes I feel like I can't even come on live because I'll just get blocked sexuality and nudity or, you know, it just does my fucking head in, darling. I'm not sitting here covering up too much. I'm fucking red hot, darling. I'm boiling. And, you know, I don't understand why I get blocked so much because I've got a pair of tits, darling. You know? I'll cover up, da -da -da. Even TikTok used to say, oh, you can get blocked like this. Put a scarf on, da -da -da. Piss off, darling. Why don't you go and tell everyone else to fucking go and cover up? That's why Modine pissed me off and he was like, I'll cover up. I'll piss off, darling. I'm in shorts on the top, darling. I'm fucking red up, darling. Some oh, I'm just saying, I just get stressed out at times. Oh. That's why I can't wait to go to America. I can walk around in a fucking thong and not want to give a shit, darling. But I wouldn't do that, but I'm just saying. But in Spain, it's fucking red hot, darling. No one gives a shit. Bitches walking around fucking topless sometimes or whatever. No one cares. You know, but over here, you're looked at like, oh. Because the men are like perverts, that's why. Even when I had my shorts on, I was getting bad guys staring at me when I went out. I was like, what the fuck, darling? These guys, man. So then, you know, I want to cover up because I don't want fucking men staring at me like that because then I don't like it. And this fucking top is doing my absolute bastard head in. Honestly, I'm getting affected, darling. There we go. <sighs> yeah, no one looks at me in Spain. No one gives a shit, darling. No one even cares. It's just different, isn't it? It's because it's a hot country, so people are always fucking going to be walking around like in bikinis and this and that. 
no one stares at you or like looks at you funny or no one gives a shit done and it's just like normal over there isn't it? would i ever move to spain i'll probably go to barcelona but then i only said that because i was smoking the green in it so fuck spain i go to italy i'm thinking italy i might get a place in italy I'd love to live in Italy, go to Rome, darling. Yeah, I wonder if I could rent out a place in Italy for like a month or summer and go and just check it out. That'd be nice. But I'll probably get Lisa to help me with that because, you know, Italy, darling. Absolutely. It looks peaceful out there, man. Beautiful. And Florence as well, the art, everything. Hello, Woody Army, darling. I would love it. I would. I certainly would. I don't know whether to trust that Lisa. Be careful. Oh, why are you saying that, Banksy, darling? <laughs> I'd love to see you live. Why would you say that about Lisa? I don't get it. Oh, Lisa's lovely, honestly. She's not like none of these other fuckers. I care about you, please be careful. I don't know, she seems fake. No, she's not fake, darling. She's lovely. Lisa's actually really nice. Actually, she's the only one that I can fucking trust. Yeah, I know, I've read it. The mother changed her name. I have done Tyler Taylor. Lisa has my back. Yeah, she's always had my back on this app, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, she's just, Lisa's very quiet to me. She's not, she don't come on TikTok like, you know. And she just laughs at the trolls. She always has done. She don't, that's why she don't really get trolls doing her head in. Cause she just fucking laughs at them. So they don't really get a reaction out of Lisa. Cause she'll just piss herself laughing. <laughs> So they can't affect her. But imagine they go in fucking hard with her, but she just laughs at them. She doesn't pay no attention. She does her art and that. She's an artist. Stewie, thank you, Stewie. Yeah, we love Lisa. <clears throat> Thank you, Stewie. Yeah, Lisa's very, very creative. She's a good person for me to be around because, you know, I, we're both in the art industry. We're both bring out the best in each other. Like, I give her good advice and she gives me good advice. And she's always had my back, man. When I was in hospital, she came. She brought me fucking paint. She brought me fucking knickers. She brought me everything, do you know what I mean? She came all the way. She's so sweet. She's always had my back. And even when they used to slag me off like four years ago and say this and that about me, she always had my back. And um, I'll never forget that. Yeah, she is so sweet. She's doing that Tyler Taylor Swift jacket as well. I want to see if she's posted it yet. Because Lisa's very quiet, private. I don't speak to Lisa all the time, do you know what I mean? Lisa's very much like myself. She likes her own space, do you know what I mean? But she's one of them people, if she's got things going on in her life, she just deals with it. She don't even fucking like, ask you for nothing, you know? Like, she's very, she's a good one, man. She respects my privacy, yeah. She helped me with my ring door light. She came all the way to help me fit it and this and that. Like, she's gone out of her way for me a lot. When I was in need, when I couldn't get into my flat, she got me into a hotel 
Like, she's proper, man. I need people like that. Yeah, she don't do it on live. That's a true friend. Absolutely. Absolutely, darling. And to be honest with you, the, the friends that I've got, I don't want to fucking... I don't even want to talk about them on TikTok no more because I've just had enough of these fuckers on TikTok, you know? So I keep my friends private from now on. Because people just talk the most, even when they're not even on this app, do you know what I mean? So, there we go, darling. I've had enough of people, you know, talking crap. <clears throat> Same with Natalie, talking absolute crap about Natalie. Leave Natalie alone, sweetheart. She's fucked off TikTok, darling, do you know what I mean? Uh, she's got a fucking life. People have got lives, you know, they've got their lives going on. They couldn't care less about this stupid app. Especially when it's been so negative. People came and watched me on here because they liked me. They, they, um, you know, they used to buzz off me. But because there's been so much negativity, negativity, every friend I've had, they try and come for that I've told on TikTok or whatever. You know, and it's just not nice. People don't, you know, you have to respect people. And not everyone wants fucking this fame bullshit. Uh, surround yourself with positive people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This was so good. I wonder if I can fucking, them guys woke me up, screaming, like shouting outside. They was like, Roots, chatting me on. See you later. Fucking nine, nine, nine when I look at <laughs> But thank you all for joining me and tuning in. But I'm gonna get off, guys. Um, come back later today or something. I'm just, um, yeah, I just need to go now. I'm just a bit bored. But it's been nice to speak to you all and that. Yeah, tomorrow is a new day, so hopefully I'm gonna get a bit more rest and I'll feel great. I love you all, guys, and thank you so much for the gifts tonight. Claire, Grace, Taylor, Brittany, Yasa, Charlotte, Avril, Lisa, Charlie, Sky, Anita, Amelia, Dazzling Diamond. I love you all so much, guys, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.